and welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 10th of May 2022, with Mike Smith, your senior analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight we saw further sell off in the US. All of the major indices looked very red and testing 12 month lows. US bond yields did soften a little bit, but they are still near that three and a half year high. And of course, US earnings continue. Today, so far, US futures are very choppy in early trading, slightly to the downside, but off the lows as we record this. And Asian indices are all obviously following that weaker US lead. The SX is down over 2% at this stage in the day. European futures, not surprisingly, are pointing to a lower open. Because of that slight pullback in US bond yields, we saw the USD index pull back a little bit from its highs earlier in the session, it's neutral around resistance level uh, gold fell and retested 1850 support which is also around where the 200 ema sits and we saw sell-offs in both oil and copper on demand concerns the aud is near two-year lows as commodity based currencies also underperformed the vix closed at two month highs not surprisingly on continued market worries we referenced the significant sell-off in cryptos yesterday citing the break through support of Bitcoin. It's now at nine month lows after another day of selling and is testing that critical 30,000 level. Little on the economic data front to change market sentiment today. There's only the German economic sentiment numbers coming out this afternoon and there's two of the Fed members are speaking later on in the session, which may give an indication about how the Fed feels in more detail. Tomorrow, of course, we've got inflation numbers out of the US, China and Germany. These are all critical, particularly the former, and that is likely to dictate sentiment for the coming week. Let's start our look at a couple of charts by looking at the AUD USD weekly chart. And you can see how significant that 70 cents level was. We referenced this before we got support here and here towards the back end of last year, again in September. And prior to that, of course, this was the post pandemic move in the AUD. So the fact that we've broken this level is very significant. And there's going to be very little to hang our hat on in terms of the next move to the downside. On the weekly chart, we can perhaps plant a line there based on this resistance here and a pullback to this level on the way up. If we then bring it into the daily chart, you can see there's the breakthrough yesterday, there's the follow through in Asia today, and there's the target to the downside at around 68.66. In Asian trading, you can see we've just continued this general move down and we're now half a percent from Asian open to the downside and we're only three hours into the trading day. Also worth a look at Bitcoin. And again, I put it on a longer term chart so you can see the implications of this 30,000 level. You can see how we are testing this. This was not seen since July last year. You can see how supported it was between May and beginning of August. So if we break through this, it's very difficult to pick a level that we can plant our flag on. But you can see there, it was almost at 50,000, not a month ago. Again, if we look at a shorter term chart, you can see in Asia, we are hanging on to this support by our fingernails at 30,000. May see some short covering in the first instance which may push it perhaps at best back up towards 32, but this remains a precarious place to be. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.